I've been with Alex for seven years now. We have three kids together. We were high school sweethearts. She claims I'm the only person that she's ever had sex with. I mean, come on. <laughs> I don't believe that at all. Me and Alex's relationship was, it was a dream, man. It was. It was, it was like a fantasy world the whole time. It changed when, when I seen the pictures. Last weekend, I seen pictures of my girlfriend on the bed with another man. My opinion is it was her. There was actually three different pictures that I seen. One was her in the process of taking her pants off, like where you could see her face. There was also another picture where he's on the bed and she's giving him oral sex. For her to betray me like that really broke my heart. When I confronted Alex, she told me, show her the proof or she'll take it to her grave. That struck me as odd. If Alex fails, I feel like it would tear our family apart. If she did cheat, she could have told me so long ago and I would have forgave her then and we would have moved on. The only way that this would ever be fixed and for us to move on with our lives and be happy is if she tells the truth on these questions. He says that uh, he's convinced that you've uh, cheated on him. I think the whole situation is just crazy. If he really had pictures, why can't I see him? Why hasn't he been able to show me? Yeah, he said he saw pictures of you doing various things. What, what, what did he say where he saw these pictures at? Or? It was a family member's ex that he ran into about a week ago. And the, the ex is saying that he had pictures of me on an old SIM card of me doing sexual acts. And he said he saw them. Correct, yes. Wouldn't he want to keep, keep them if th that was actually you? That's what I said. And what did he say? He feels like if he shows me the pictures, I'm going to do something with them. Yeah. So he doesn't have proof. So you guys have been together since you were like in high school, right? Yeah. And Seven years, uh, I was 15. So we got together. 15. Mm -hmm. So before these accusations of cheating, how was the relationship? He, he describes it as beautiful, wonderful it was, fantasy. Um, yeah, it was. Um, I got pregnant at, um, when I was, it was about eight months into our relationship and things were a little rocky. Um, he was kind of disrespectful to me and um, I found pictures of uh, other girls on his phone and text. So you think that in the beginning of your relationship he cheated on you? Right. Did he? He says he didn't. He says he didn't? No. Yeah. What happened five years ago that started all these cheating rumors? A family member has told me that he has told her ex that he cheated on me with somebody at his work. And um, I went and stayed the night with her that night and there was this guy there, the person that I'm being accused of cheating with. And that night he, um, he asked me to come in there to his room and he wanted me to do things with him and said, well, he cheated on you, why can't you cheat on him? And I'm just like, I can't do that. So I went back in there in the room with the family member and that was it. And I told him about it, we moved forward from it and it just came up recently again. So he thinks that the picture incident is the incident from, from five, five years, years ago. ago. Right. Um, <laughs> is there any pot, you, first of all, you, you have told him you've never been with any other man in your right. life. And he yeah. says, I don't believe that. Yeah, he's the first and only person that I've ever been intimate with, my first true love. Um, so there's no chance that's, that's you in those pictures? No, there's no chance at all. So, sir, tell me about the location app on your phone. Well, there's a location app on our phone that we both have so we can see each other's location. And um, for an example, I can be at work and um, he can say that, well, you can't do nails from the parking lot outside. So he thinks you're out in the parking lot doing yeah. something sexual. Right. Now, he took a lie detector test whether he cheats on you. What if he fails? Honestly, I don't know if I could be with him if he did. No. I don't think I'd be able to handle that. This is interesting. It says you've been engaged before. Yeah. To who? To him. Oh, to him. Yeah. Well, and how come you're not married after three kids? 
I don't know. I tried to get him to marry me. <laughs> you try um, to get him to marry you? Yeah. Why did he have to try? We've been engaged twice, and I've given him back his ring because he used to be really disrespectful to me. And How was he disrespectful to you? So, whatever, he's obviously doing something that's very upsetting to you. What, what's, what's hurting you right now? I don't know, I feel like he talks to me like I'm a child. We've been all right for about a month. And he doesn't yell when he talks anymore. He's really calm. And just recently, it started back the same way because I'm being accused. What do you love about Cody? <sighs> the main thing is he's really great with my kids. Is he great with you? Like I said, recently. He recently? Been, yeah. But for a month? For a month. Out of seven years? He says at least two years. No. As far as the way he's changed talking to me, it's only been a month. I would have never said anything unless I seen these pictures. There's no way I would have came to you. I let it go five years ago. I, I, I let it go. I just I don't never understand brought how it back you up. can say all this. If, why can't you show me the pictures? You don't deserve to see the pictures. There, there, I don't there's, deserve you you to couldn't see the tell pictures. me the truth. I gave you an opportunity to, to be honest with me. And I am being honest with you. I don't believe you're being honest with me. And I can't show you the pictures. And, and you know, once I've seen these pictures. I know it, if it, I this, had pictures of you, I would show you. I, you probably would. So you know what I think? You know what I think, Cody? Here's yeah. what I think. Okay. I think you ain't got. I think in your way you're trying to get her to confess to something that she didn't do. Because there's no guy that's going to have pictures of his. She's not your wife, but she's the mother of your kids. Yeah. You're basically married. You live together, right? Mm -hmm. That's going to see pictures of his wife doing that and not show him to her. There's no way. But she says she's never been intimate with any man other than you. Who would believe that? Well, she's been with you since you're 15 years old, right? Uh, See girls all the time, 13, 14 years old, doing it. Why, why, why is she different? I mean, okay. I mean, that, that's just the truth of this, this, this day is, and age. This isn't is it? this is a woman that's been with you since she's been 15, right? Yeah. Do you love her? Yes, I love her. And you want to stay with her? If. if if, mean, these, if these look, if these look, she didn't lie, look what yeah. you just did to if her. She, look what know, you just man. did. If she didn't lie, yes. Of course I want to stay with her. But if she lied on her test results, there's no way. If she lies on her lie detector results, you're leaving. I've already packed my stuff, yes. Alex came here and took a lie detector test, and we asked her, since being in a relationship with Cody, have you ever had sexual contact with any other man? She answered no. Since being in a relationship with Cody, have you ever had sexual intercourse with any other man? She answered no. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with any other man besides Cody? She answered no. The results of Alex lie detector test, the results came back all the same, and they came back that Alex told the truth. <laughs> I didn't hear your response. I said if he passes his. If he passes his. <laughs> Cody came here and took a lie detector test, and we asked him, since being in a relationship with Alex, have you ever had sexual contact with any other female? 
He answered no. He did not tell the truth. <laughs> since, since being in a relationship with Alex, have you ever had sexual intercourse with any other female? He answered no. He told the truth. So who was it? I told you, I told you, I didn't know, I, I don't know whether it was... What'd it, you do with her? Well, I didn't do nothing. She came in the room and... And, <laughs> and, and, and you have a picture of her <laughs> performing all sex? Yeah. How did she pass her lie detector test? I don't know. <laughs> I think you're... And if she was going to cheat on you, would she really allow the guy to take pictures? <laughs> Who is, not only, not only, it, it, and it wasn't even the guy, because if he's laying on the bed and she's right. there's another person in there exactly. taking pictures. Exactly. And you just didn't feel the need to show her these. Did you I show will them, when we get home, Did yeah. you show them to anybody else? Yeah. Who? I, there's no reason to tell you that. There's no reason, there's no reason. I'll show her when we get home. I will show her when we get home. That's okay. So let me get you still hit, you still contend that you have these pictures, but you want to marry her. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. She comes here, she's obviously very hurt, distraught, and you just kind of like treat her very badly. How can you say that? How do you, how do you know? <laughs> how do you know how I treat her? Because you you, Cody, yeah. make her cry. You. What did I do to make her cry? How did I make her cry? You don't, you don't see it? You don't see? You don't listen to her? Maybe you're just really, really insensitive or stupid. I don't know. <laughs> but it would concern me if he's that stupid or that insensitive to you why you would accept that ring? I mean, listen, if I made my wife cry, I would feel horrible. Does Cody feel horrible right now? No. No. And he still insists that he has these pictures of you, that he's never shown you. Just tell me the truth. All right, I ain't got no pictures. <laughs> I ain't got no pictures. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I'm gonna step off stage. I wanna hear you be a caring, sensitive person to the woman you love. Alex, I love you. I'm so sorry that I've ever yelled at you, I've ever man, been disrespectful. I'm very sorry. I love you, man. I will always love you. And I'm not I'm not going anywhere unless you want me to. I've been trying to get you to change for seven years, Cody. And I, you finally got it out of me. Well, there's nothing wrong with giving a chance when you get home, but I would tell you this. I put it on a very short rope. I would not waste any more time because all you're doing is if you go home and you keep tolerating it, it's never going to end, and you're going to waste precious, beautiful young years of your life she on somebody tolerating. that is disrespectful to you. She stopped tolerating. I hope you can change when we get back home, Gary. I can't put up with it no more. I can't. Well, like I said, you go home, and you can always take it slow. But you know, if this if this doesn't change his behavior, his questioning of you, then you'll know it will never ever change. I wish you all luck in the world. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's gonna watch this and say, you know what, she was brave enough to do that, I can do that too. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.